Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have React starting as the pink Protoss. Upper left hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the yellow Terran. This is on Monopoly, and this is BSL Season 14 Hasu League semifinal. Game two between React and Kiko. Game one, if you did not check it out, was a barn burner. Absolutely incredible play. Kiko ending up with the slight advantage there, but honestly, given any small number of differences, React easily could have taken that match. So with that in mind, we'll see how things play out. I'm still going to have to give the edge now overall to Kiko in this matchup because Kiko, especially uh, in that last match, it looked like he cleaned up a lot of the parts of play that I usually see him struggle with, which is being a little languishing a little bit and being a little bit slow and overly cautious and taking his third. Oftentimes he does seem to lean into taking that third rather than going for more of those timing pushes. Although previously, I know he's very strong in that timing, in that ability to do those timing attacks. I've seen him execute those very, very effectively. His troop movement, honestly, is have been just top tier. The hop skipping jumping of those siege tanks and vultures across the map the positioning and everything look phenomenal react is here for a reason though looks like he's going to get first scout off the probe making up actually might even be able to get a gas deal with the timing of this let's see if he is able to sneak up and do so no blockade on the ramp he is gone for just a gateway pretty standard no shenanigans as of yet. It looks like rather than going ahead and try the gas already being grabbed, so it wasn't a timing opportunity to do it, but bigger map monopoly. Trying to harass that SCV and do what delay he can. That is actually two additional SCVs coming off the line to support this, to deal with this probe. So Kiko doesn't want any of it. And secondarily, that is gonna delay some mining time and React being very, very aggressive with this probe. But that is leaving his probe a little bit fragile now. And the follow-up, he's going to be able to confirm the three SCV and gas. Let's see if... Usually you want to try to keep it alive to see whether a factory is fully plopped down or not. Looks like a Marine moving out. First Zealot also marching its way across the map. So wants to get aggressive interior to the base. Seven X core being plopped immediately after it. No second Zealot produced as of yet. Kiko going for the clockwise scout. So he's going to miss both the Zealot and additional information. Fortunately, and it looks like Kiko pulling one SCV off, so he's going to let that factory build up. It's only going to be two Marines, though, to deal with this initial Zealot. So these Marines are going to need some SCV help. One SCV pulling off the line already. The Marine not quite in position to engage. The Zealot now ignoring both of this. Going to go ahead and march forward. And it looks like just going to get scouting information, so not quite able to swing around, get SCV kills in the mineral line, or get on top of the SCV. So despite just the two marine defense, Kiko dispatching this rather easily. So the factory going to finish. Is there even going to be an SCV kill? No, not even. Okay, one SCV kill for React in the midst of this. So yeah, you got a little bit of disruption earlier with the probe and some delay there, but instead of having a very successful, actually moving up with a second Zealot, and I don't like this. Let's see if he pulls back. Four Marines are holding the ramp currently. Maybe he just wants to make sure he has eyes towards the natural expansion and disrupts the bunker there. But these four Marines easily going to be able to bully that Zealot back. So yeah, React. React's Zealot now in flight. First Dragoon moving out. Looks like Kiko managed to get some scouting information. Range is upgrading. All three pylons in React's base. And it looks like React potentially in a bit of trouble here if he's not careful because he's got... A Vulture and four Marines making their way towards the front. The Dragoon's somewhat out of position. It cannot win this fight. And if... Okay, a second Dragoon moving up. If he's not careful with this and ends up engaging a little bit off, Kiko is going to have the opportunity to go ahead and push up into the main. But at the very least, what this is doing is this is delaying React from putting down a command... Uh, sorry, command center. A Nexus behind this. Just a slight measure. Robotics facility plopping down and looks like Kiko going ahead and grabbing his command center behind this. He's dropped a machine shop as well. Let's see if he moves back towards and actually produced a fifth Marine. 
just in case. So it's going to be five Marines out on the front. Initial siege tank in production. I don't know if siege check is on the way or not for Kiko. It looks like delayed currently. SCV going to try to meander in. Does manage to... I think it got a decent look. These Dragoons being... That's actually kind of an artifact of Monopoly, I'm realizing. This is these... This reach wall being so far forward allows Dragoons to deny a lot of information, which is actually quite handy. Second Siege Tank produced. Kiko feeling very secure. But we do see an observatory, and look at this. Citadel of a Dune Templar Archives. So it looks like it is going to be a DT drop from React. An engineering bay is already up. And it looks like Kiko is going to start placing those turrets. But it is going to be critical that he has decent turret coverage across the entirety of his base. Otherwise, the Templar drop could be devastating. Second gateway along the way. That is taking quite a chunk into his economy here. Kiko should get the worker lead and... Basically, what I'm saying is, is this DT drop needs to be successful. Otherwise, Kiko is going to end up with an advantage here in the mid game. Economically, just because it's been, it was a long, I mean, the second Nexus not even up. It's a credit to React that he's been able to keep the worker count so high, staying on top of the macro. But having two command centers being able to produce SCVs, as long as Kiko stays on top of his macro, he's going to actually climb to a mid game ec economic lead. Engineering Bay floating to the south also might be able to spot that shuttle that's coming but right now as far as turret coverage there's just the two turrets to the south the one towards the natural expansion so there is exposure and potentially a drop lane someplace second x is coming online four gateways in position behind this first dark templar out i have a feeling it is just going to be these i don't want to say lone but these three dark templar yeah these three dark templar Getting a move on, rather than the full complement of four. The Vulture's still waiting in the wings. To maybe do a run by if the Dragoon started making any sort of movement. So Kiko just holding position, also holding position at kind of an odd angle. Oftentimes you'll see the Vulture up towards the north, just to deny or see a probe coming out from the third. Shuttle coming out. The engineering bay is in place to spot it, so it sees it, but now... Is Kiko going to react? And is he going to be able to deal with the Dark Templar? So CG right there, the Dark Templar on the ground, trying to take out that turret, successfully doing so, and that is going to open up an avenue right into the main. Additional turrets being blocked. And now it is disaster time for Kiko. He's got to flood SEVs out towards the natural expansion just to keep mining up. So with a great drop, trying to blockade, trying to get turrets up all over the place. But these Dark Templar are having none of it, just dropping them one by one so delayed mining time also might be able to get the armory looks like react sees that it's not spinning so he's going to focus on everything else trying to work on the academy briefly is he going to focus down that comsat station now working on that comsat station looks like additional turret's been produced so one dark templar down but a good amount of disruption all sorts of cancellations of these turrets but Kiko handling this, I got to say, very calmly, very well. The Star Templar was able to get a lot of disruption, which actually gave React the worker lead, despite there being the two base versus one difference here. But now, despite, instead of a game-ending maneuver, the Dark Templar are getting boxed out. But look how many turrets. Look at just the wreckage and how many minerals that cost Kiko. Finally, a combat station up to finish off that last DT. A great effective drop for React. He's got to feel good after that drop. Invisible men, I'll tell you what. Fort Gateway's planted. A Stargate dropping immediately to move to early mid-game Arbiter tech, potentially. Kiko down in supply. It looks like that single vulture might actually... Well, it's at least doing some damage to that zealot. Might even be able to get a zealot kill to be a bit of bonus. But we'll see if this... I believe this is going to be a fast tech switcher arbiter. Forge dropping as well. And React feeling very, very comfortable grabbing his third. Let's see if Kiko allows that to happen. He's been sitting... Looks like he's going to go ahead and take out this turret in between. Needs to, so he can drop down that additional factory in solid positioning. 
Mine's also being researched. Resaturated, so... But react with that eight worker lead. Gonna get his third base much more rapidly. And actually, never mind. I take it back. Kiko, in reaction to this saying, like, you know what? I My economy's stymied. I'm gonna miss that timing attack. I wasn't even rolling that plus one weapons. So let me instead just really rapidly grab my third. A single Dragoon might be able to wander up and see this. And he did that very effectively and commandingly rather than yeah, being very timid about it. Probe actually slotting kind of in a hidden corner to maybe grab a quick fourth. So if this Dragoon slots in, sees this, I'm wondering if there's going to be an instant fourth grabbed. Dragoon's in position to deal... One artifact of Monopoly is just troop movement tends to be extremely important. The Vulture is able to wander up. I believe Kiko, yeah, he gets eyes on the cannon and the Nexus. No additional factories as of yet, though, for Kiko. He's set up to go ahead and plop them down, but hasn't yet built them. He's still sitting at the three factory count. Dragoon starting to edge forward. At one Dragoon coming from the right, and I actually like this earlier take from Kiko as well with the positioning, even with the smaller amount of siege tanks, just because it is so hard to get a good angle for Protoss here. It looks like we are seeing a fourth in reaction to the quick third from Kiko, a quick fourth from React to try to maintain that economic lead. And Kiko staying right on top of his macro is actually even to the worker count. Still behind in supply, not exactly where he wants to be. Plus one weapons on the way. It looks like we do see that first Arbiter being fielded try to keep an eye to see whether we're going to have potential recalls or not a dropship being built for kiko he feels like he needs to sneak back into this that could be devastating if it drops at the six if react seals the rest of this out zealot clearing mine's going to go ahead and make sure that a quick fourth wasn't grabbed by kiko as well so both players again playing more of that aggressive macro economic style rather than going for any i believe kiko's plan right here i'm looking for the second armory might be a bit delayed because of this drop science vessel being produced i think he comps at it and saw that arbiter on the field but no one critical thing here for kiko is i don't see a second armory up yet which is gonna be a big impact he's only gonna have that plus one weapons without that plus one armor a little bit more rapidly to follow does have that dropship moving out, so maybe he can get a good amount of damage done here. It looks like that pylon wall being left open, but what this is also going to do is this is going to mean React's troops here in the mid-game are going to be somewhat stronger. Vulture's clearing out that Zealot. Zealot's just making sure fourth isn't grabbed. I have a feeling, though, Kiko just wants to sit here on his three bases and play it defensively until he gets the near 200 mark. A lot of troops moving forward for React. And I think React's got to be thinking at this stage, okay, I'm just going to try to keep my troops fanned out. You can see the better engagement positions just deny these additional bases, so let Kiko have the third, and I'll take everything else. Drop here at the 6 o'clock base, getting a good amount of probes, and right now, React's army completely out of position to engage this. I don't know that it's going to get a Nexus, but it's certainly getting some economic disruption, and another Vulture, while all of those troops are moving there, is going to be able to wander into the main. It's going to see three forges for React. So React playing very economically aggressive. The Arbiter moving forward. Going to be able to clean up this here, but this Vulture... Go ahead and bring the HUD back up. Able to get a good amount of pro kills. Actually, is he still going to attack from the high ground? Looks like that Zealot... Looks like Zealot's going to be able to run up and potentially... Oh, well, Maybe. Running over each other right this second. Some more vultures taking the field. Kiko needs to do this. To slow React's economy down. Because it does look like React is currently posturing to kind of just have that smothering macro. To try to swat anything coming out this direction. To try to swat anything coming out this direction. But he's got a reestablished position. And right now Kiko laying a bunch of mines in between. Which will be very frustrating to maneuver into. Or I should say safely maneuver across just because you, you can see the troop movement sometimes if they end up down here it's a disadvantageous situation so you gotta and walking up here it's like single file anyway it's a mess it's a mess on this map one dragoon already getting taken out by this minefield to the north 
React being pretty diligent in clearing the rest of that out. Looks like Kiko was trying to think about taking that lower base, but that's getting pushed back immediately. React has that Arbiter out, has now double Stargate rolling, is upgrading Stasis. He's in a firm position here. He's got 172 supply. And on top of that, I think he's still going to have... Yeah, level 2 weapons. It's still been sitting on the single armory for Giko. Arbiter pushing in gets immediately wiped out. Huge amount of turrets for Kiko to go ahead and blockade in the way. And I don't know that a... I'm not sure that React would have been able to know this, but I don't know that a recall was necessary. But look at all these turrets and all these mines. Kiko well prepared for any sort of recall of that direction. So the Dragoons and Zealots wanting to join the fray, wanting to taste battle, just going to go ahead and back off for now. Right now, though, the name of the game is who has the better engagement points. Kiko leaving a lot of these tanks on siege might want to start moving out, maybe move positionally to go ahead and establish a fourth over here to the right. You can see he's just clogging things up in between. He's also got the mines at various locations. It looks like he's going ahead and grabbing that command center for his fourth in the upper right hand corner and react moving his troops clear across the map. He's going to go ahead and try to grab his fifth base. A few vultures that direction. An Arbiter is nearby. Doesn't have quite enough energy for a recall as of yet, but a recall into the upper right could be significant. At the very least, he'll have some stasis to work with if he wants to go for the engagement. And I think this is going to be a critical moment here. Is, is Does he allow Kiko to go ahead and get this fourth up, or does he... Or is he able to stop and push the engagement here? Right now, Kiko has done a great job to even things up, but he doesn't have that armor upgrade alongside, so it's going to be a little bit more fragile. And you've got that triple forge upgrade, which has actually put React ahead in the overall upgrade war. Ultra swing the opposite direction. React doing a good job of swatting things out th over here. So you can see he's just trying to deny this corner. I'm not sure if he's aware of this base yet or not. He's gone, gone ahead and established what will be his fourth mining base at this stage, his fifth base overall. Abandoned the main because it's just low on minerals. A bunch of siege tanks in position to go ahead and potentially close that gap. React just testing, looking. Walking up in between. The command center immediately being lifted off upon spotting this. And React attacking into these siege tanks on the left. A big EMP lands though. And that is going to send React backwards gonna go ahead and pull back and i'm not sure that he needed to engage there i think it would have been fine just to drop stasis contain do some damage actually looking for some side storm to join this army kiko with a nice reaction of his own lifting off that command center and pulling it to that upper right hand corner Ooh, siege tank getting a little bit too feisty react realizing this potentially is going to come into going to be more of those one of those macro-oriented matches and starvation sort of situations is going ahead and grabbing his nexus here at the inside three just to hold it. I'm not sure I like that maneuver. Like, go ahead and put pylons and cannons and other things to disrupt, but I don't know that he has probes to efficiently mine it currently. Kiko barreling down that right-hand lane to potentially deny this base, but also make it a grab option for him down the line. A handful of Dragoons are scaling up the left-hand side, but there's plenty of siege tanks there to engage. Two Arbiters along with, and it looks like the entirety of the army from React going to scale up the left-hand wall. A single stasis on this, but Kiko counterattacking is going to be able to wipe out a mining base, and this might be a full commit situation from React in response. A lot of siege tanks there. Several of them unseaged. They're going to back up. Nice side storm over both clumps of siege tanks here. React continuing to barrel forward, and it looks like Kiko does not have enough reinforcements to stop this. So this is potentially going to cost him a base. So a base for base trade. React loses this, but I think he's happy to do so if he's able to take out one of Kiko's currently mining expansions. Siege tanks now grouping up from the right. It's just Dragoons versus Siege Tanks, and the Dragoons aren't underneath that Siege Tank line, so those tanks rapidly melting the Dragoons. There's no additional support. So Kiko still holds his base. 
React turning around, wants to dive in with what's left. There's not a lot of siege tanks to defend at the natural, but it looks like the Dragoon's going to go ahead and back out. So actually, at the end of the day, ends up being a big win for Kiko because he has the overall supply lead now, was able to take out a base, didn't lose a base in turn. Still isn't mine, it looks like, to the upper right. I'm wondering if there's going to be a potential recall down the line, but really wiping out, and that's allowing a SCV transfer to move without too much trouble. Two additional siege tanks, looks like they're doing some disruption here at that 3 o'clock location. Kind of a skeleton crew of an attack force here. Potentially just to be annoying. React moving his troops over here to the right. Go ahead and clear this out. Kiko at the very least able to walk in and see that it's not a fully saturated base. is going to end up losing these troops. Let's see if he utilizes this time to go ahead and get some more defenses along that right-hand corner. So now the name of the game is... Actually, a really aggressive forward turret is his recalls versus lane control on the opposite right. A recall potentially going into the upper right-hand corner. Unfortunately, big recall. Unfortunately, a lot of siege tanks are right there, but there's a great follow-up stasis. Huge turn in momentum here. React able to get on top of the SCVs force a lifted command center might be able to take this command center out which is going to drop kiko to two mining bases one of which is nearly mined out so the base drops there kiko sieging on the low ground to potentially try to retake purchase up here to the north for a second there i didn't think that drop was going to get anything because there are so many siege tanks in position to deal with it but instead moving out of position in a big follow-up stasis capping this all of a sudden, React with a 40 supply lead. Retaking this Nexus in that bottom right-hand corner. And is going to have a strong economy to follow this up. Kiko now in trouble. He's got a bank of 1,500 minerals and 1,700 gas to muster an army to push React back and establish... Another mining expansion for himself, and he's going to have to attack uphill into Arbiters. More reinforcements making their way across. It looks like there's another attack force from React along that left-hand side. He's like, okay, if your army's over here, I know where the rest of your army isn't. And so potentially going to go for a counterattack as soon as he sees Kiko try to move up and take location. A nice EMP on the high ground. But a secondary attack from React moving up that left-hand flank. Another beautiful stasis. Minimizing the troops that are going to be engaged. And now Kiko in trouble. Vultures flooding back. Moving these siege tanks back to the rear. All of a sudden realizing they need to defend an active mining base rather than pressing forward to take a mining base. High Templar still have not dropped Storm. There's the Storm obliterating every single SCV at this expansion and that is certainly going to be GG now as React with a beautiful positional play sweeping in underneath to take out this 1 o'clock mining base now Kiko down yeah there's GG great play from React top to bottom the stasis were phenomenal in this match convincing win for React We'll move on to a game three. We're now tied up to one apiece.